All right, today I've got a mashup of many clips, many actual false prophecies from one Timothy Dixon, one of the worst false prophets on social media. He has no fear of the living God as he lies in the name of Jesus Christ with little or no effort. Some of the clips are kind of long, but they serve a purpose to make sure we document this in the hopes that others would awaken from his deception. At the end, I'll offer some commentary. So if you find that you can't make it through this man's acting performance and all of his blasphemy, you can jump ahead and listen to my commentary at the end. Here we go. I, the Lord, shall bring these wonders that the world shall see that it shall be in such great, great perplexities, even seas war roaring, bringing forth such such floods and such such nasumis. Your prayers has been heard. How reverse this evil, this evil satanic election that has plagued this country. How reverse it in the next days, saith the Lord. Be one country that I'll not shake, saith the Lord of hosts. I begin the tremors. I begin the volcano eruptions. And even those that criticize my word and my voice, saith the Lord about Yellowstone. But know that I, the Lord God, I am the one that controls. I am the one that moves upon the waters. I am the one that moves upon the plates of the earth. And know that I shall bring forth my word. In just a few days, you'll hear the tremoring. You'll hear the rattling of Yellowstone. And the animals shall flee. Oh, they shall run, saith the Lord. Beginning to grip their hearts because they're losing, saith God Almighty. It shall come to pass in the next few days, in a very short time, that I, the Lord, shall put back, saith God, I shall bring Donald Trump back to the White House and I'll cause everything to shatter. I'll bring it down to naught, saith Mighty, mighty wind, saith God, shall spring forth in this nation. For I'm bringing back, saith God, one that shall stand again. The remainder of the four years that I've called him to be the president. And it'll cost him eight, twelve, even twelve more years, saith God. It'll, it'll cost. It'll cost. I appreciate every one of you. Don't you give up your faith. Don't you be discouraged. Hallelujah. Just any, I, I, I really think in the next two months at most, uh, I've seen, I've seen uh, Donald Trump was back in power in August on the 40 day fast I went on. Uh, I don't understand everything. Uh, I do not understand every step until God shows me exactly. I believe in what God shows me. Now that don't mean that, uh, he, he might be, I mean, they might arrest a whole bunch and put him back in office tomorrow. I mean, God can do things overnight that we think can't be done. I know all the, 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 like I said, I've got people calling. You ain't got to believe what I'm saying, but you'll see that God has spoke this word. God's going to put him back in there. Hallelujah. Before, I believe before July the 4th. 
I saw in a piece of dream. I just want to tell this little piece right there when I mentioned July the 4th. I saw something happen July the 4th that was just crazy. I saw an Independence Day being re rejoiced all over the world. Hallelujah. I saw it rejoicing. And what all, what could that mean? Oh, hallelujah. I'm still praying on that one. But there's your little bit just fresh off the, fresh off the Holy Ghost. All the mockers, my hands of judgment will be upon you. I've seen how you have mocked the prophets and you've mocked my people by even mocking them in a prophecy. You'll pay, saith the Lord. If you don't repent, you'll answer. But I shall bring it to pass even as I have said. I've even spoke and said that I'll bring Donald Trump back into the office. But there's been mockeries and mocking against the prophecies, against the people, against the prophets, against the people that stands and speaks my word. But know that you're treading on dangerous ground. You can mock, you can talk, but you cannot stop the very will that I am. I'll bring forth all at once, saith God, the president. I'll drive back the forces that's holding it back. I'll move and nothing shall hinder. I'll shake the world. I'll shake the world with that that I'm about to do. Oh, Nancy Pelosi, cancer reeks in your body, saith the Lord of hosts. Repent of your sins, saith the Lord. Death shall claim two in one day, saith the Lord, inside the White House, inside the political offices across the country. Two in one day, saith the Lord God. In the next coming days, I will raise the dead in the service of the ones that is chosen for this. For your death will come upon you all in one day, saith God. I bring down the high tower that's in Washington. I bring it down today. I bring it down tonight. My word goes out against you politicians that have stood against the real anointed one. I shall bring him back to the office, saith the Almighty. I'll stand all in one day, and you'll see the one that I have anointed is Donald Trump, saith God. You have mocked and you have made fun of them that I have sent forth to speak this word. But saith the Lord God Almighty, for the Lord has spoken this hour and this day, a day of refreshing, a day of power, a day that I shall spring forth that speedily saith the Lord, don't give up my people, but stand and believe in my word. For just in a few days, you'll see the hand of God. You'll hear a great rejoicing across the land you'll hear rejoicing in every church because of that that I'm about to do I'll hold back I'll hold back the evil that's in there I will stop it saith the Lord God because it shall be even as I have spoke I will return the one that I have chosen. You can mock and you can say things of choose and chose if you want. But I have chosen. I have chosen the man Donald Trump even from. 
even from years, years past the bloodline. I, the Lord, a prophecy came forth of his life of years ago. Oh, my word came out. The word came upon his mother from a distant land, saith the Lord. The word. And that spirit followed the man through his time. That's why his heart changed like it did when he was in office. You saw a transformation in Donald Trump's heart. He became even more loving and more kind. But a man of strength. Know that I chose David a man after my own heart, but yet they criticized, said all manner of evil against him, but I still stood with David. And I'll stand with this man and he shall prevail and shall come even as I have spoken. I shall drive back this evil that is trying to take this country that has pushed their way up inside the leadership and the laws Know that I shall collapse it, saith the Lord. And I'll bring it to pass that it shall be so. Donald Trump shall be. He shall be the reigning president he is. For my eyes does not see that that I am doing. But know that the whirlwind blows now saith the Lord of hosts. Lift up your eyes and lift up your hands and lift up your voice and pray and cry to me with all your heart for this is the day. Not many days hence you'll see the hand of God move even as it did in the time of Pharaoh when I stretched out the rod and blood, locusts and Evil come upon the loud the Egyptians. Death come upon the firstborn. But know that those that the blood was applied to the post, that death passed by. There was no, no plagues in Goshen because I've kept my hands upon my seed, saith the Lord of hosts. This is the hour that you'll see that I am the Lord and that I've chosen men for this generation. It is not time. It shall not be now. I'll hold this evil off and you'll see and you'll rejoice. Shortly, shortly saith the Lord, within just a short time, few days, few times, Oh, the year, the time, the day of Jubilee. Oh, a great celebration because you've overcome the evil in something that you thought never would be. Satan has no power. Satan has no power. It shall be, and you've wondered, does anyone even know the things? And, and I've heard the voices of those that's my people. I've heard the voices of my ministers that's even asked and said that it was crazy. Crazy to think such a thing. But I would speak to this, to this country. I would speak to America. No, that you'll see that I am God, that I can do anything, and that Donald Trump, I'll put him back saith the Lord. I'll uproot the axe now, saith the Lord. The axe is laid to the root of the tree. The storm's coming. The whirlwind blows. The whirlwind blows. I'm sweeping down through Florida. 
saith the Almighty, and I'll bring back and I'll set in office the one that I've chosen for this day, the one that I've chosen, and know that because of what you've done to the country, it'll cost you 12 years, saith the Lord, that there'll be no more democ there'll be no more Democrat. There'll be no more Democrat. And know that I, the Lord, shall again I'll rain rocks. I'll rain rocks out of heaven upon Italy, saith the Lord of hosts. I see your sin. I see your sin, but the world has covered up, covered up your atrocity, covered up the things that you have done, but I have seen the evil that you lie inside the shadows and you try to deceive the world and think no one sees your sin. But I am the Lord God that sees all things. And I'll even bring it to pass in the next few days that I'll rain rocks out of heaven. Hell shall rain down even, says the Lord, even in five and ten pound balls, says the Lord of heaven. The, the buildings in Italy is going to begin to crack and fall to the ground. Hallelujah. But in that same thing, God is raining revival down in America. <laughs> God is raining revival down in this country. I saw a, a great, great move uh, like an angel. He stood down. I seen him. He, he swooped down as I stood inside the St. Peter's Square. I seen an angel come down and he stood and he laid both his hands and like a big, huge, huge cherubim angel. And he started speaking and prophet speaking things out. And I seen stones begin to fall out of the heavens. And, and I seen the, all kind of stuff being rained down in Italy because they've turned God's They've turned their ears. They've turned their eyes. They've over the next couple of months you'll see the hand of God stand up in the capital you'll see as God begins to move God begins to move the real president back into the office I know that you're looking and the world is looking on us already and I've seen as the time rolled on I seen the 4th of July again. I seen it come in and, and the, all kind of disasters was taking place. But I seen God stick his hand down inside the very center of the Vatican. Hallelujah. In St. Peter's Square. Just I seen a thumb go down and that angel stood up and rocks begin to fall out of heaven. But I, it may be some kind of meteors or something. But I knew that it was the hands of God. He was slinging. And I seen the angel slinging down because he was angry at the at the child abuse and, and the Hallelujah, the 4th of July is going to be big. Hallelujah, God is planning something huge. Hallelujah, I know that it's coming. Hallelujah, I've seen it before. I don't understand all of it. Hallelujah, but I know it's something to do with the president, the real president of the United States. They're trying to cast false doubt. They're trying to tell you lies and all kind of other stuff that's going to happen on that day. But I'll tell you, we'll see who's God. Hallelujah, we'll see who the Lord is. Hallelujah because God is turning things around and his hand's going to stand up like we've never seen him stand before, saith the Lord. Lift up your hands and rejoice, O church. I am not deceived by no means. I hear the Lord. I hear his voice. And some of you that's listening to this video now, You'll leave this world. Repent of your sins, saith God. Repent of the things that you've done. Even your mockery against my servant. Even your mockery against the prophets. Even your mockery. 
I'll hold against you, saith the Lord. And an angel of my presence shall fall upon your house. An angel of my presence comes to your doors. An angel of my presence comes to your, your home and your house. Repent. Repent. And I'll have mercy. D.C. I saw a, 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 a massive bunch of people in, in, in Washington, and then I saw a motorcade coming down through 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 the through Washington, Pen, Pennsylvania Avenue, around the, around the White House, and and President Donald Trump was in the motorcade, and his power was restored. I seen the I seen a an official come out. I don't know who he was. But I know that this official had authority that was over everybody. He had authority that was over the Supreme Court. He had power to, to execute judgment. He had power. He had authority. And he had a he had a wood case, like a like a wood, an old wood uh uh, uh, uh briefcase, but it was it was made out of wood, real old looking, and, and he opened it up and there was a mantle inside that that briefcase and he throwed it around president trump and he said and he said i restore to you what you've laid laid down and laid aside for a time hallelujah but something changed church i'm gonna tell you something god's got this there's something going on behind that our eyes can't see i don't care what the news says i don't care what the world says when the lord starts speaking like this you can count on it God's going to bring it to pass. It's time for us to lift up our hands and shout glory. It's time for us to be encouraged. It's time for us preachers to stand and prophesy against the evil. Prophesy and say, thus saith the Lord, the almighty God. God's bringing back the president of the United States, saith the Lord almighty because he's chosen to be, and a man cannot hinder it. Nothing can stop it, because he's an all-powerful God. And we're soon to see, in just a short little time, that God has chosen to be this way, to shake this globe, shake the world, and shake those that have not been shook. That's why God is going to reign. That's why God's going to bring President Trump back in. Hallelujah. They're going to fly down there, like I said on the other dream. They're going to go get him. <clears throat> hey, well, you crazy. That's all right. Call me crazy by July or, or, or sooner. Hallelujah. I'm at the point now. The Lord told me. Told me last night and all through today, driving, coming back out across the country here. The Lord told me, said, you speak the word. You speak what I tell you. You don't sit and worry about it coming to pass. You speak what I tell you. And if it don't come to pass, you still tell what I say. Well, I've just shown you video with audio where Timothy Dixon falsely prophesied 13 different times over the course of the last two years that Donald Trump would be reinstated back to the presidency. He said that God said this. And this hasn't happened. It didn't happen. But saying things like, Thus saith the Lord, or fresh from the Holy Ghost, or I, God, hath spoken. Wow. For me personally, one of the greatest crimes a man could commit would be to come before millions of people 
and speak on behalf of God, words which God did not speak. Timothy Dixon stated in the last clip that he's going to continue to speak these lies no matter if they come to pass or not. Demonstrating his defiance to God and showing his absolute refusal to be corrected, it also demonstrates that he has zero fear of our holy God. His indefensible false prophecies absolutely show that he is not hearing from God. Now Jesus warned us in Matthew 7:15, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Timothy Dixon is the textbook description of this verse. Now Dixon, with all his moaning, with all his fake anguish, with his contorted facial expressions, his flailing around, and his charismatic delivery, should never be allowed to supersede the truth of Jesus Christ. And yet, we see his followers entranced with awe as they cling to every word of his spewage. His performance, his lying wolf performances, easily outweigh Holy Scripture in the eyes and the ears of his followers and utterly destroy faith as the followers literally choose feelings over biblical truth. It's truly something to behold. Now, while these Dixon supporters, and for that matter, all the false prophet supporters, they look for these fake prophecies of Donald Trump to come to pass. And they are oblivious to the fact that they themselves are the very ones deeply entrenched within the very real and current biblical prophecy being fulfilled, that of 2 Timothy 4.3. And this reads, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. Their lust for Trump, their lust for heaping teachers, outweighs their desire for sound doctrine. The followers unequivocally know that Dixon is and was wrong. They know this. They just don't care. They've been taught by Dixon and the other false prophets that God indeed misses prophecy, that God is not perfect. They've been taught that when the prophets miss a prophecy, well, it's, it's not their fault. It's God's fault. Now, many of you will say, well, that's not true. Nobody thinks that. No, it is true. The prophets, well, they don't take the blame. This means there's only one other who could be to blame. That would be God. Now my Bible, which is my foundation for my faith, tells me that God is perfect. That God absolutely never, ever, ever misses a prophecy. He doesn't have accidents. He doesn't make mistakes. He doesn't have oopsies. I can guarantee you one thing. There will be no human allowed through the gates of heaven who thinks that God is flawed or with error. None. Now, one of Satan's greatest tricks is to play on your emotions. 
to tug at your feelings. Emotions and feelings will wreck true faith. They cause you to err greatly if allowed to go unchecked. Ground yourself in the Holy Word. Recognize the actors, the wolves. So I'll close with this. Everything you need, everything you need for faith unfeigned is already in your Holy Bible. There is not one additional so-called prophecy from any man or woman that requires your belief and or defense or faith. Jesus Christ did it all. Fear no man or woman, no matter how charismatic they are, no matter how convincing they may seem. Fear God. Worship God. Commit to His holy word. Believe His word. And watch for the wolves. Recognize them. Now, lest Timothy Dixon repent for his lies against the Almighty, he will be in for the rudest of awakenings that any individual could experience at judgment. I literally shudder over that. But I do pray that he would repent. But as for me, I stand against the false prophets. I stand with Jesus Christ. Thank you.